Having control over who has access to your data in your operations center organization is important. The team tool allows you to manage your staff members and partners by assigning them appropriate access levels that reflect their role in your business. This eliminates information overload and allows staff and partners to focus on what matters the most. In this video, we will cover four topics. A review of staff members, partners, and operators. Navigation of the team tool. Access levels and how they enable tools in operations center. And how to support a partner. Let's review the three possible roles in the team tool. A staff member is someone who has a role in the business management side of your operation or is a paid employee. A partner is a trusted advisor. You may establish partnerships with any operations center user you work with, like your John Deere dealer, ag input provider, or a co-op. Partnerships are the key to collaboration in operations center. The purpose of adding a partner to your team is to enable a data sharing relationship so you can view each other's fields, products, or equipment. A partnership is required for an organization to view the data in another organization. Operator names and license information may be added for record keeping. This allows their name to be associated to the field work their machine is sending to Operations Center. Navigate to the Team tool by going to the Setup menu. The team features a filter panel. The filter panel is used to narrow down the list of team members you'd like to see. You may use the search feature to find a particular team member or filter by access levels. You can select the pending filter to see who on your team needs to accept your request to join your organization. Search results from the filter panel are displayed in the team list and you can select our partner, staff member, or operator's name to view additional details including their granted access levels. You can also access your organization preferences from team. To add a staff member or partner, select Add to your team, then select Add a staff member or Add a partner. When setting up your team, think about what tools you would like your partner or staff member to access and exactly how much access you would like them to have. Access for partners and staff members is listed in five categories. It is important to review these categories carefully as they impact the tools throughout Operations Center Web and Operations Center Mobile. Let's take a look at each category. Equipment access includes all things related to your machines, implements, location history, alerts, maintenance, and terminals. Here you can grant the ability to use remote display access or to send files to a machine. Organization management access allows a user to help manage team by being able to view who is in the organization, their access levels, and the ability to add or delete staff members, partners, or operators. Location access controls the ability to view, edit, and delete field and production data. This includes the land, analyze, and files tools. Work access includes the ability to view or manage work and crop plans in the work planner and crop planner tools. Financial access allows a user to view granular insights, financial information such as revenue and profit maps generated from your field operations and documentation data. Access levels are your degree of control within team. There are different levels of access you can assign to a staff member or partner. Generally, the higher the access level, the more power a user will have within that tool. Access Level 0 grants no functionality. With this access level, a user will not be able to view or use the related tools. Access Level 1 grants visibility, meaning the user cannot do more than open or review the related tools. Access Level 2 grants limited editing capabilities, for example, to change the name of a field. Lastly, Access Level 3 grants manage capabilities. A user with Access Level 3 will have the full functionality of a tool including the ability to update and delete data.
please be aware not all categories will have Access Level 3. Remember, you can always select Show More to view detailed information on what each access category and access level entails. As roles and responsibilities change around your farm, you might need to edit access levels on occasion. Editing access levels is simple. Select your partner or staff member, select Access Granted to them, select Edit, identify which access category you would like to edit, increase their access by selecting the Plus button, or reduce their access by selecting the Minus button. Let's review three example roles in a farm operation and the recommended team access settings. Keep in mind these settings are not automatically defaulted. It's up to you to decide which access level is appropriate for your partner or staff member. The farm manager or owner should have the highest access levels in the organization. These settings in the team tool would include equipment level 3, organization management level 2, location level 3, work level 2, and financial level 2. For an agronomist, locations level 3 access is recommended to receive agronomic services and support, as this controls the ability to view, edit, and delete field and production data. You might want to grant Equipment Level 2 access to help edit equipment offsets and settings as well. A staff member who is a truck driver might need limited access. In this scenario, you could grant Equipment Level 1 and Locations Level 1. These settings in the Team tool would allow the truck driver to use the Operations Center mobile app for location history and driving directions without having to share any information that may be confidential. To support a partner means to view or access a partner's organization. To do this, navigate to the Organization Selection drop-down menu and select the partner you would like to support. Notice their organization name now appears in the top right-hand corner of the browser. You may switch between organizations at any time. If you do not have access to a tool when supporting a partner's organization, it is a good idea to investigate if you have the correct access level for the task you would like to complete. Navigate to Team in your organization. Select Access Received from Partner to review the access that has been granted to you by that partner. You will need to contact your partner to get the correct access level approved and updated. There are many informational articles to help you use the Team tool. Navigate to the Assistance menu and select Help Documentation. We recommend searching for terms related to your issues such as Team or Delete a Partner. Be sure to check out the article entitled What Team Access Levels Do to read a full explanation of the various access levels and the tools they enable. In this video, you've learned a few things to get you started with your team. Thanks for watching.